15. HIV, AIDS treatments, with details. 1. Antiretroviral therapy, ART, is a combination of medications that work to suppress the human immunodeficiency virus and prevent it from replicating. ART can help individuals with HIV maintain a high quality of life and reduce the risk of transmitting HIV to others. 2. Pre-exposure prophylaxis, PrEP, is a medication that can be taken by individuals who are HIV negative to help prevent them from becoming infected with HIV. PrEP is typically taken daily and is most effective when taken consistently. 3. Post-exposure prophylaxis, PEP, is a medication that can be taken by individuals who may have been exposed to HIV to help prevent them from becoming infected. PEP should be started as soon as possible after exposure and is most effective when taken within 72 hours. 4. HIV vaccines are medications that help the body's immune system recognize and fight. HIV vaccines are still being developed and tested, but researchers hope that they may eventually be able to prevent HIV infection or slow the progression of human immunodeficiency virus disease. 5. Antiretroviral therapy for pregnant women, ART PMTCT, is a combination of medications that can be taken by pregnant women with HIV to help prevent transmission to their babies during childbirth. 6. Highly active antiretroviral therapy, HAART, is a combination of medications that work to suppress the HIV virus and prevent it from replicating. HAART is often used to treat individuals with advanced HIV infection or AIDS. 7. Single tablet regimens, STRs, are combinations of HIV medications that are taken in a single pill once a day. STRs can help simplify treatment and improve adherence to HIV medication regimens. 8. Long-acting antiretroviral therapy, LAART, is a type of ART that is taken less frequently, typically every two to four weeks. LAART can help improve adherence to human immunodeficiency virus medication regimens and may be an option for individuals who have difficulty taking daily medications. 9. Structured Treatment Interruption, STI, is a strategy in which individuals with HIV take breaks from ART in order to allow their immune systems to recover. STI is not recommended as a standard treatment option and is only used in certain circumstances under the supervision of a healthcare provider. 10. Monoclonal antibodies are medications that are made in a laboratory and mimic the action of natural antibodies produced by the immune system. Monoclonal antibodies that can help neutralize may be used in combination with other human immunodeficiency virus medications. 11. Fusion inhibitors are medications that work by preventing HIV from entering and infecting human cells. Fusion inhibitors are often used in combination with other HIV medications. 12. Integrase inhibitors are medications that work by blocking the action of an enzyme called integrase, which is essential for HIV to replicate. Integrase inhibitors are often used in combination with other HIV medications. 13. Protease inhibitors are medications that work by blocking the action of an enzyme called protease, which is essential for HIV to replicate. Protease inhibitors are often used in combination with other HIV medications. 14. Human immunodeficiency virus transcriptase inhibitors are medications that work by blocking the action of an enzyme called reverse transcriptase, which is essential for the human immunodeficiency virus to replicate. Reverse transcriptase inhibitors are often used in combination with other HIV medications. 15. Entry inhibitors are medications that work by preventing HIV from entering and infecting human cells. Entry inhibitors are often used in combination with other human immunodeficiency virus medications. Take care and see you in the next video, subscribe channel and like the video thank you.